Pretty music. Uh, how's the audio sound? How's my mellifluous tones? Okay. <laughs> I like the way John. Soothing. Well, John's John's pops. I like John's. We, we maybe had some trouble. I don't know. I'm just. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, D Damaris. How about uh, anyone call you D D Damar or yeah? Uh, yeah. People think I'm Demar Derozan. Okay. You know. Aren't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That happens. Derozan. Uh, we're dying to know because we're Prince fans. I think you heard us earlier. Yep. He's so gifted. Uh, I think we're both a couple years older than you, but we've been following him a little longer than you have. Ted. Yes. Uh, what do you what, what do you do? I'm the dancer. Oh, I'm you're one of, one of the dancers, right? The dancer. The dancer. <laughs> because he's had different dancers. He yeah. like he had the two that were the twins. Uh, the twins. Mm -hmm. And he had uh, Missy Copeland. Years ago, he had. Uh, I'm just trying to think if I can remember this stuff. He had. Carmen Electra, years, he discovered her, right? Is that the story? Yeah. But then he had, uh, who was the girl? Cat. He had Cat on some album years ago. Mm -hmm. And now, how long have you been doing that? Uh, past year and a half. So we did Australia tour. We did Welcome to Chicago. We did South by Southwest. We did George Lucas's wedding reception. Wow. We did, yeah, I know. That was this year. And then we did Montreal Jazz oh. Festival uh, this summer. You know, um, there's a, there's a quote that I love from 1977 from Peter Frampton, who at one point was the biggest rock star, just briefly. Mm -hmm. And he, he did some outdoor, he did an outdoor concert at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia and 200,000 fans. And he said, once you've performed in front of 200,000 fans live, sex isn't that exciting anymore. That was his quote. <laughs> now, I'm not asking you that, but, <laughs> but how, how exhilarating is it to perform with Prince on a stage when everyone's going crazy. It's nuts. I mean, um, it's like totally different when it's an arena versus someplace like a jazz festival where there's just 5,000 people in your face. But the arenas are crazy. You, how many people do you know? Uh, I think the most we did was probably 20,000. Yeah. And, um, and you're and what are you doing? You're wearing barely nothing and dancing? I'm wearing a lot of clothes oh. and dancing. Um, not oh. a lot of clothes, but it's 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 not barely nothing. I mean, it's, it's Prince 2013, so okay. it's a little bit more. Yeah. Conservative, but yeah, it's a lot of dancing, walking, spinning. Right. All he that calls jet. you his muse, right? That's, that's, that's your that was title. My title, yeah. Like his inspiration. Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, yeah I really, it's pretty so. awesome. <laughs> now, did you did you know that he plays basketball also? Yes, where the blouses. Have you seen him play basketball game? Um, no, oh. but I have seen yeah. Dave Chappelle. I heard he's pretty good. I heard so too. No, he yeah. played. Uh, he used to play at Marshall U High in North Minneapolis. I used to. I never saw him DM play. Up. No, I never saw him. Play. I used to post him up. Yeah. Uh, a couple, <laughs> couple ball fakes. Uh -huh. No, that's great. Uh, so your dancing pays off. Did you have to audition or what? I did not have to. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, surprising. Yeah, he knew. I mean, I was friends with them for a while, and then he actually knew that I danced. But the modeling world didn't know that I danced, and um, literally got a phone call one day like, "Hey, we don't have anybody to go on tour with. Want to come?" Yeah. So yeah. Well, he's, you know, it, it, to me, I, I'm about to make a little fun of him, but I, I don't, it doesn't matter. The guy is so talented, but a, a friend of mine uh, uh, was at his house for some reason. I, w I don't want to reveal who he was. He's a buddy of mine, but he said, oh, and he says, oh, yeah, Prince is the man, and he's great. I said, did you ever see him without makeup? He goes, never. So I never saw him without makeup. He, even in the morning, he's wearing makeup. And, bleeding the fifth. Yes. Uh, he's bleeding the fifth. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's what I thought. Uh, 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 do you know Jimmy Jam or not? I don't know okay. Jimmy Jam. Jimmy's an old friend, one of the great producers of all time. Jimmy yeah. Jam, Flight Time. But he doesn't work with Prince anymore. Oh, okay. I know of Jimmy Jam, but I yes. don't know Jimmy yes. Jam. Yes. I want to know about the George Lucas wedding. Are yeah. you a Star Wars fan? I am not. Oh, I dear. didn't say that. No. Um, sorry. Why is I'm it so few people like Star Wars anymore? I don't think it's a few, but I just feel like... I'm more of like a Transformers kind of nerd, uh, okay. you know, All like right. Optimus, The Voice, of you know, course. Jar Jar Binks isn't really. Maybe uh, it came out 30 Jar years off. ago or something. Yeah. Maybe because it's so old, they have more things to watch than Star Wars. <laughs> There's going to be new ones coming out in a year. Was it uh, was it up in Northern California or not? Uh, no, the reception was in Chicago. Okay. That's where the, uh, the, the bride is from, I think. Yes. Does that sound right? Yes. Well, that's pretty Melody. cool. And did you guys uh, did you guys do Erotic City? Or we did not. Do Me Baby? or We did not. Just naming my favorite Prince songs. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, it's kind of scary that I used to listen to Do Me Baby at the dorm back in Montana State. <laughs> Scream that. Uh, do you have a, a favorite Prince song? Favorite, When Doves Cry. That is oh, my yeah, yeah. favorite. And he has a new one called Breakfast Can Wait, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. So those are my, those are my favorites. Yeah. How long are these shows? About two hours. Uh -huh. Hour and a half, two hours. Uh, we're, we have a, just a 
little time left. I want to switch yeah. to, uh, you did a movie with Hugh Grant? Yeah, I did a small, I've done a lot of video this year. I did a small movie, well, it's not a small movie, my role is small, with Hugh Grant. He's a teacher. I'm a student. That was my second on-camera thing this year. I don't know if you guys know, I opened the All-Star Game this year. What do you mean? I had a two-minute opening on uh, TNT oh. for the NBA for oh, cool. the All-Star Game. So they always have, like, an intro, and I was by myself. And I'm dancing in it. I'm boxing. I'm oh, wow. doing yeah. a bunch of stuff. So that was kind of like Boxing, my... too? Yeah. Wow. wow. That's cool. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. They like you at the NBA. Love them at the NBA. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's it's a nice it's a nice getaway from the modeling world. The modeling world is great, but you don't hear me. You yes. know, so it's it's nice to actually be in a position where I can be a fan and still work. Yeah. A lot of the people you see, you know, you you go to school for it. I didn't go to school for it. You know, they're in broadcasting classes every day, which uh -huh. is an amazing thing. But it's it's nice to actually be on a platform as a fan because yeah. you know there's a lot of fans who want to be on platforms, but they can't be there. So I'm kind of, I'm grateful. Well, do you That's feel cool. like that you're kind of different than a lot of the girls that you work with and <laughs> that you have varied interests and yeah. you are very good at speaking and Thank you, you host shows I do uh, too yeah. right yeah, yeah yeah um this year so far I've hosted I uh, hosted the Knicks blue carpet one time during uh -huh. the playoffs uh interviewed a lot of the players so I do a lot of things I do feel like I'm different but that's the thing that I love I yeah. think that it's more yeah. of a 90s mentality back in the day you know, you knew models, you knew their names, you knew what they did, where they were. In 2013, you don't really know them that well. So the term supermodel is kind of getting passed around a little bit too much. And yeah. I feel like if anybody's going to give it to me on, on accident, I got to live up to it, even though I'm not there yet. Yeah. Wow. God, they, you know, they told me, uh, you're very articulate, you're very poised. And they told me you're a kid, by the way. They told me your age. It's like, are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, I know. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> Thank you. Good yeah. for you. It's good stuff. Uh, I'm well, uh, yeah, don't spend too much time with Prince, but that's okay. You, you, you grow out of that. Just grow, at some point, it's a good memory. You know what it is? I'll it's say, a good yeah. memory to have, but there's a, at some point you got to move on. Okay. Um, is that what you did? Yes, <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, it was the. Uh, I was trying to think of the, the, what tour it was. It wasn't the Purple Tour, but anyways. Uh, all right, uh, Damaris Lewis, pleasure meeting you, young you lady. You too. Uh, and big hand for her, and we'll be right back. Stay with us. Thank ladies you. And gentlemen. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.